It's not about whether you fall off the horse or not. You're going to fall off the horse. It's how fast you get back on and take three steps forward. You have to remember that you will fail many times. The key is you got to run into failure fast and embrace it and move towards it. It is the only way to grow. You have to be okay with going forward sloppy. Putting in new systems, new rituals, new routines, adopting new mindsets, new habits, getting uncomfortable. All of the concepts we've talked about come from a willingness to change and do things differently. That concept is called failing forward. Whether you need to fail forward yourself and give yourself a little grace for the mistakes you're gonna make, or you as a leader leading other agents or other people or even your title officer or your lender, when you're trying to let go of tasks to other people, places and things, if they're gonna learn, you need to let them fail forward, right? Because if they make a mistake, oh, I, I, I gotta do it myself, I can't do that, my customer service, I can't lose my clients, oh my gosh, I better do it myself. If I'm gonna do anything right, I gotta do it myself. Which is so funny, because there are agents that have done things a thousand times more than you, that have totally let go, they sell hundreds, if not thousands of houses a year that have let go to tons of other people. And if they, if you were handling their stuff, they would be shocked and horrified. But yet you think you're the only one that can handle it. There's always someone who can do it better than you. And you have to allow, to go from a good warrior to a good chief in any business, you have to allow people to fail forward. Just like you yourself, when you're learning a new habit, you have to fail forward. Because the only way you're gonna learn is to actually try and make mistakes with it. There will be times you can't hold your time blocks. There will be times that you forget to look at your calendar. There will be times where you forget to put things in your calendar. There will be times when you fail, when you're getting uncomfortable and wanna go right back to safety and quit things. There will be tons of different times where your emotions get outside the lines. You're gonna have all kinds of failure and so are the people that you're leading. But understand, it, you know, growth, as a leader or as for yourself comes from a mindset of three steps forward, two steps back. It just is what it is. I wish that all, I mean, we coach all these mega agents and teams and luxury agents and broker owners. And I mean, these, these are monsters, make millions and millions of dollars a year. They didn't get there fast overnight by going five steps forward every week. I mean, they had huge blow ups. Their teams and agents and organizations blew up hundreds of times. They went all the way, production drops way back and then they go forward a little further. Getting uncomfortable gets there. Then you gotta get uncomfortable again and add something new, it's constant. So you have to be embrace that failure. You, you can't have this situation where everything needs to be perfect. You have to be okay with taking risks to get uncomfortable. Anytime you're trying to change, Nothing, none of the things we talk about that you need to do, like lead generating, that's not fun. That's not like, oh, I can't wait to fail forward into that. Calendaring, systematizing, coaching, spending money, none of that's fun. It's so easy to, to say that I didn't mesh with that coach or, man, I hate, you know, I just don't like my life following those routines. It was too much work putting my database in my SOI. It's so easy to quit all those activities that are all painful and not fun. And you will. It's not about whether you fall off the horse or not. You're gonna fall off the horse. It's how fast you get back on and take three steps forward. You have to remember that you will fail many times. The key is you gotta run into failure fast and embrace it and move towards it. It is the only way to grow. It's the only way to let go to other people. It's the only way to lead is you have to encourage your people to take risks and not get mad every time they make a mistake. So long as they learn from it, it's a teaching moment. You get in there, you embrace it. I mean, this is parenting. You got to reward people. You don't, you don't punish people for making mistakes. Now, if it's over and over again, a hundred times, okay, we might have a problem with someone. But otherwise, if they're learning and they're moving forward, that's the only way to do it. We want to encourage that. The more mistakes you make, the faster you're going to grow and the faster you are on your way to success. So believe it or person, the, the person that fails the most succeeds at the highest level. I fail more times in my personal life and my business life than I care to count. And I would say more than most people, but I'm also more successful than most people.
The people that are the highest producers in this industry, the most successful, influential people in this industry, they have failed more than you. So you have to move forward with that mindset. It's that risk reward thing. You've got to take the risk. You've got to make the mistakes. I call it going forward sloppy. You have to be okay with going forward sloppy. You S and C behaviors that like everything perfect, you have the hardest time with this. You have to let go and make mistakes. You have to let the fires burn and focus on those activities that get you the results. You have to let fires burn everywhere and not worry about putting them all out. You have to see things that need to be fixed. Maybe your website's down, keep lead generating. Maybe there's a typo in that social media post you just put out there. Keep lead generating, deal with it later. Letting fires burn is hard. It takes mental discipline. It takes focus. It takes rituals, routines. Doing it is uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, okay? So going forward sloppy, and the reason I do that is so you, you set the perfect, you set that expectation with yourself. And if you set that expectation with yourself, you won't be so emotional. You won't let your emotions get outside the lines when you do fail, right? When you get a lot of no's, you know that everything in real estate's a low conversion rate business. If you're trying to recruit, you're gonna get a hundred no's before you get a yes. If you're trying to like get agents in your company to produce, it's gonna be a very small percentage that actually succeeds. So don't blame yourself for each of your agents' failure because you care so much about people. Get experience in a hurry, please. It's up to them too. It's not just up to you. And a lot of them aren't. You put the systems out there, you put the training, the effort, the coaching, the mentorship, all that stuff up, it's up to them. Just like me talking to you, I know not many of you are gonna make it. Whoever's watching this, because I'm telling you what to do, it's up to you to do it. It's a low percentage. Everything about real estate's a low conversion rate. You gotta call 100 people to get a listing appointment. One, that's 99 failures. You might have to go on 20 recruiting appointments to get somebody to join your organization. You might have to call you know, 30 people in your SOI to get one person who might be looking this year. Everything's a low conversion rate. So if you have that expectation going in, you can celebrate the one out of 100 as opposed to getting down about the 99 no's along the way. It's a numbers game. Keep playing the numbers, don't quit. You're looking for no's. No's are good because you know that, S, that yes is coming. Get through them until you find the yes. And then you never know, it's not gonna, they're not gonna come up after every 100, it might be 200 no's, but then you get three yeses but it works if you stick with it. So you have to fail forward. You will get better, you'll get more efficient, your conversion rates will go up no matter what you're doing. That's why we have to set the expectation. That's why we have to always remember to fail forward. And the key behind that is staying positive in everything you do. Smile a lot. The top agents all know how to do this. Stay positive. You'll be everyone's favorite. As a leader, you'll be all your people's. If you're always dwelling on their mistakes, you're not gonna be a good leader. But if you're staying positive, encouraging them to keep making the mistakes, you'll be an amazing leader. Think about it. Think about who your favorite teacher was growing up. Think of all about elementary school, high school, whatever. Your favorite teacher always was the one that was the happiest. They were always the most positive one. They might've been the funny one, the most encouraging one, the goofiest one. Those were your best teachers. Teaching and coaching is leadership. They are one and the same. Now think about it with you as a professional and your clients. They're looking to you to lead them. And if you're the happy, positive one, they have a stress-free process. If you stay positive, they don't freak out. But if your emotion gets outside the line, you get down or you're upset or your energy's low because you're not following your rituals, your routines, you're not being healthy, you're not doing all the stuff you know you need to do. So you get down a lot, then they're gonna be down. If you get angry a lot, then they're gonna get angry a lot. And you're not gonna make it a good home buying process. They're not gonna be as likely to refer you, even though they may like you, trust you and love you, doesn't mean it was a good process, but if you're the happy, fun, hey, don't worry, this is good, we got this, this is fine, this is no big deal, we see this all the time. Agents do this stuff all the time, it's fine, he's doing a good job, he's a great agent. If you stay positive like that, and you teach them how to think, but if you're like, oh, this is terrible, this is the way it is, I hate this about agents, that guy's a jerk, you start doing that stuff, 
you're going to train your people to dislike people. You're going to make everything negative. So stay positive in everything you do, especially about failing forward and making mistakes. When you're trying to change behaviors, change mindsets to move into a more top producer, successful business person mindset, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Okay, guys. So no matter what you do, force yourself to smile, force yourself to be happy. Hopefully all of these concepts help you do that. Because I'm telling you what comes from that is success. Because successful people are happy. So start acting as if you're a successful person and be freaking 